Welcome to our continuing YouTube video series on investment and financial opportunities. My name is Christopher Newfeld of Newfeld Legal. And in this particular YouTube video, we're going to be discussing the future of the retail industry. Now, what we are currently seeing is that the retail industry is taking a severe beating as a result of the COVID-19 coronavirus. But there is something more pernicious underlying this impact on the retail industry, and that has been the already ongoing slump in this market sector, in the sense that prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, we're already seeing a pernicious slump in the retail sector, both on the size of buying at retail locations as well as the underlying real estate aspect. And what has happened is given this extended longer than expected period where the retail industry has been virtually closed, it has resulted in customers becoming more and more familiar out of necessity with online shopping. And as people become more and more familiar and comfortable with online shopping, especially those who were not reticent to pursue the online shopping sphere, the business sector has is going to feel this pain for a much longer time and may never fully recover because what has happens is that when people overcome their inhibitions to online shopping, they're going to have a lesser need to go into the retail sector and actually physically go in shopping. They will still go shopping, but they'll make a lot more purchases or be a lot more willing when they're at home to do those purchases online, partly because there is a greater variety available to them, partly because the costs are going to be a lot less because once you go shopping online, you're eliminating the cost of real estate and the cost of employees and marketing on to the immediate community that is not necessarily required from an online retailer. And given the fact that people have overcome their inhibition to shop online because they have been forced into an online shopping atmosphere, there is going to be a definite move away from major in-person retail shopping. And that is going to have an enormous impact. So when we look at the opportunities, well, we have sort of the negative area, which is opportunity, the, the move away from investing in aspects that are tied to in-person retail sales. That means real estate operations that are tied to retail sales, actually in-person, in-store retailers and shifting towards the online sector even more because this trend has now been achieved. The inhibitions have been forced to be overcome out of necessity that arrangements and pursuits in the online sector are going to become that much greater and people are going to need to look to finding their investment, financial, and business opportunities on the online side because that's where the potential is going to be. There's going to be significant shrinkage in the other markets. There's going to be a lot of businesses that will not properly recover. They may continue for a period of time afterwards, facilitated by government loans, but the long-term realities of those businesses are not going to be there. 
they're not going to be the high revenue producers, if at all, that they were previous to this. And individuals who are looking to focus on the retail sector are going to need to focus on that online sphere, at least in part. And simply having a visual presence in a mall is not going to make a lot of difference, especially with the innate costs and the long-term demands that are required of being in a physical location selling retail, especially where one's competition might not even need, want to be having a physical location and simply being doing drop shipping, online sales and the like and focusing on that area. So that is where the opportunity is going to lie and that is where the disadvantages in certain business spheres are going to reside. And even though one might go down to malls and see considerable traffic, there are limitations on that. It'll be for spot buying, specific buying, um, and a lot of it will be for browsing. A lot of people will take a look at what's available, but then they have their phones with them and they'll be able to ascertain, is this the right value for myself? Or can I simply order it online, step out of the store, put my, place my order and save myself 10, 20%. It will make a lot of difference. And we're going to see a lot of changes coming in the retail sector, even more so as the shift to the online variety has been precipitated even more by the business closures dictated by the government due to the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. And that is some perspective on where retail seems to be shifting to as a result of a current situation. Thank you.